These short videos that are in this group are designed to give you some extra practice on writing proofs. So if you'd like to hit pause right now and see if you can write this five-step proof by yourself and then turn the recording back on and I'll step you through it. Okay, the first step is always putting down the given. You don't have to always put down all of the given. I'm going to put down the AD equals 8 and the BC equals 8. I'm just going to put down those two and my reason is given. Because the reason I'm only putting down those two is I'm going to concentrate on what do I get from knowing that. So if those two are both equal to 8, then they must be equal to each other. So I'm going to say AD is equal to BC and that would be the transitive property. So I'm going to put down transitive property and it's transitive property of equality because they're equal signs. Now if they're equal to each other, if the distance from A to D is equal to the distance from B to C, then those segments must be congruent to each other. That's what it means to be congruent. It means to be the same measure or the same distance from one to the other. So that's the definition of congruence. Now I'm going to add in the other given that I had left off from before because now comes the time in the proof when I'm going to use it. And if you had put it up a higher in step two, that's perfectly fine. Some of these proofs can be in different orders than I've written and still be right. So if you take a look at what you have, you have AD congruent to BC. You also have BC congruent to CD. Both AD and CD are congruent to BC. They're congruent to the same uh, segment. So they must be congruent to each other. So AD is congruent to CD. And once again, we use the transitive property. Only this time, you'll notice it's not of equality. It's the transitive property of congruence. Hope you got that one.